Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. I've been fortunate enough to see tremendous changes in the sharpening of turning tools in my lifetime. When I was a boy, we had carbon steel tools, which if you overheated them, and we ground them in bench grinders freehand to sharpen them, if you overheated them, they would lose their temper. So it was a very welcome thing in the late 1960s when companies started offering high-speed steel tools. High-speed steel doesn't lose its temper if it's overheated. It can go up to cherry red and it still remains tempered. So it took the fear out of grinding. The next big step was the grinding jig. The first one was offered by Jerry Glazer. Tim Clay at one way uh, took Jerry's ideas and made it so it fit on the grinding table and that's what we mostly all use today. And you simply position this Wolverine arm to the right place and then you take this Veragrind jig and you rotate this against the wheel and you get a perfect grind. Anybody can learn to grind a tool in a very short amount of time and get perfect repeatable results every time. The final thing that really changes the calculus in grinding turning tools is what is called cubit boron nitride wheels, CBN for short. They are amazing, they grind cool, because they're made out of metal, they run very true. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about them. This is a CBN wheel from an online company called Wood Turning Wonders. And it is turned from a blank of aluminum. And because it is lathe turned, it is perfectly round, unlike a normal aluminum oxide wheel that we have traditionally used for sharpening. Also, most good CBN wheels are dynamically balanced. You can see where this was drilled here to change the balance point. And so they run virtually vibration free. They have a coating of cubit boron nitride on the outside surfaces that is bonded to the wheel. And CBN is the second hardest substance in the world, the only thing harder being a diamond. But a diamond cannot dry grind steel or it will be ruined where cubit boron nitride can. It also has great thermal properties. An aluminum oxide wheel does not conduct heat very well. 90% of the heat of grinding ends up in your tool as you grind it. Cubit boron nitride actually conducts heat quite well and with this metal backing it conducts heat away from the process and only about 40% of the heat goes into the tool. The result is that you can often, on at least a retouching of a tool, uh, touch it. It isn't even hot enough that it would burn you. So they really are a huge game changer in grinding. The best thing is that you just put your tool down here and it just grinds it. It is so smooth. It, I just can't say enough about it. The only disadvantage of these wheels is they're fairly expensive, uh, between $150 and $250 each. These wheels on the Baldor grinder here are turned from steel, and they're a little bit different in shape than the Wood Turning Wonders wheel, but they work equally well. I have an 80 grit wheel here, and I'm sorry, I have a 40 grit wheel here, and an 80 grit wheel here. I'll show you how they work in action now. Here we are grinding a, a scraper. It, there isn't nearly as much noise as there is with a traditional wheel and you don't need to put very much pressure on the tool against the wheel. It just cuts so cleanly. You can see how cleanly that has cut right there and it is a perfect perfectly square with just great geometry. Here we have a one-way Veragrind jig with a Wolverine holder and we're sharpening a spindle gouge. 
and you can see just light touch and I've rolled a burr. I'm ready to buff this. I would never even think of grinding a carbon steel carving gouge on an aluminum oxide wheel, but I do it readily with a CBN wheel. The edge is still cool to the touch and I've got a perfect bevel. One problem with many CBN wheels is they will not fit inside the guards of most grinders. Most turners are simply removing the guards completely and running them in open air because there's really no danger of them exploding like there is with a aluminum oxide wheel. I, being sort of like to err on the side of safety, found that I could get them inside this Baldor grinder by adding a stack of washers between the two halves of the guard and using slightly longer bolts. You may be able to do this to your grinder as well, and this will give you an additional margin of safety. CBN wheels are only for the grinding of tool steel, preferably high speed. You can grind well-tempered carbon steel, it needs to be Rockwell 55 C scale or above. But if you grind mild steel with them, they'll load up with steel particles and it'll essentially ruin the wheel. Yes, they're expensive, 150 to 250 bucks, but a good aluminum oxide wheel is going to be 50 to 75 dollars and they wear out. This wheel will essentially last forever. If you'd like to try one, a good scheme is to keep an aluminum oxide about 47 grit wheel on one side of your grinder and put about an 80 grit CBN wheel on the other. That way you can do rough and mild steel grinding on your aluminum oxide wheel and do the finish grinding of high speed steel tools and touch up on the CBN wheel. Give uh, CBN wheels a try. Uh, once you've uh, used them for a while, you'll be really glad that you sprung the money for one. Thanks for visiting.